Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this episode we're going to talk about termination knots. A termination knot, in brief, is basically any life supporting knot that connects a climber to a climbing system. Here is a list of seven popular termination knots and I'm going to show you how to tie them one after the next relatively quickly because I do have a video for all of these um, elsewhere separate videos for each one uh, so you might want to look into those if these uh, if this is too fast for you so the first is the anchor hitch anchor hitch is tied to an object by going through it once through it a second time and then around like this and through the resulting hole For all of these termination knots, it is important to know that you should at least have six inches of tail coming out. This is so that while you're using it, it will not inadvertently come undone um, or loosen up and move through, you know, the carabiner. Um, also, an even better way to prevent this from happening is to give yourself plenty of length here and then to tie a stop or not like a double overhand or just even a half hitch so now that that's out of the way we can continue the next is the fisherman's loop also known as the poacher's knot it is tied by going through an object and then you go around like that around again continuing around then when you have what looks like this you open this up here and you put this through and get it tight and then cinch it down this is a great knot it does tend to jam um, but it's very reliable if tied correctly, it'll also keep your carabiners from flopping around, which is nice. Next is the clove hitch. And the clove hitch is tied in many ways, but one of the ways to tie it is to make a loop, then make another loop, and then cross one in front of the other like this and put your carabiner through and tighten it up. This is a great hitch because it can be adjusted um, as the user climbs along with ease. Um, you just have to pull some slack through and move it along and it is recommended that if you are not using this midline that you tie some kind of um, sturdy stop or not, like a double overhand to ensure that the rope won't pull through. Next is the bunt line hitch, which is somewhat related to the um, clove hitch. This hitch is tied by going, making sort of a loop like this, and then continuing around like this and then through the loop and then through the top here. I find this to be a really awkward knot um, although a lot of people like it. This is the end result and once you've tied it it can be cinched onto carabiner and it is very secure. Next there's the figure eight on a bite. This is tied easily by taking a large bite of rope and going around like this. Being careful to keep the strands from 
losing their symmetry. Uh, another way that this is tied and a popular method for connecting to any rope, especially with rock climbers um, and alpinists, is the figure eight follow through. The way this is tied is you tie a figure eight into the rope, giving yourself a good amount of slack here, and then you'll put it around your belay loop, and then you next simply just retrace the knot. So So then you have the same exact knot except you were able to tie it without any without needing any connecting hardware. You were able to tie it around something. Of course, you wouldn't want this loop to be this big, but you get the picture. And finally, not a lot of people tie in this way, but there are people who do. Um, so I'm including it. It is the Bolin with the Yosemite finish. So that is tied by making a loop in the rope. And then bringing the end through and then behind the standing end and then through back down into the hole and then you bring it behind this part of the loop here and up through here. This is the Yosemite finish part. So as you can see, a regular bowlin is not a secure termination knot. It can become undone. But this version of the bowlin, of the Yosemite finish, is very secure. So okay, that's been seven very popular termination knots. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, consider hitting like, consider subscribing, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks, bye.